I'm not doing anything. <laughs> Hello, welcome to another episode of Ebook Vlogs. I'm Gerald. And I'm Nick. So today we're going to be trying and to learn about the different cuts of beef. So we're going to be checking out two different restaurants, very fancy places. The first one is La Brasserie at uh, the Fullerton Bay. The second place, Lowry's The Prime Rib. You like beef or not? Not bad. This is one of my favourite animals. One of your favourite animals. My name is uh, Zachary Yong. I'm the executive sous chef of uh, Fullerton Bay Hotel. I've been here for the past six years. I'm operating this French restaurant. It's called the La Brasserie and serving French cuisine. So today we will serve you three dishes. It will be the stick frit. The stick frit is actually using a strip loin uh, from the Wayu breed, marbling score 4-5. Uh, basically, we sear it on the flat top under high heat to colorize it. Then we'll place it in the Josper oven, which is uh, powered by charcoal and some apple wood, uh, the beef rossini, basically a tenderloin with a piece of foie gras. This is usually served more for the dinner crowd with a glass of red wine. And for the beef chick, it's a tender piece of braised beef raised for 8 hours in red wine. Basically, I would recommend the people to come by to La Brasserie to try the food because of the ambience. Here is a very classical French setting with very high ceiling and a, a nice environment to dine in. Right now, we are at the Fullerton Bay mm. at one of the restaurants called La Brasserie. It's a French restaurant, uh, very very fancy. <laughs> Loads of interesting beef dishes on the menu. We're going to be trying three of those today. Well, I can't wait to get schooled on beef. Beef education. Cow academy. Milk. Cut! <laughs> so our food has arrived and we've got the three different beef dishes over here. So first off, we're trying the Bordelais beef cheek. Mm. It's been braised for eight hours yeah. like, in red wine and beef stock. It smells amazing and like just poking it, right? Wow. It's so like bouncy and soft already. I can tell confirm it's like fork tender will melt in your mouth kind of like consistency. Whoa! I feel like you can use a wow. butter knife to cut through this. You don't even need a steak knife. Yeah, it's really very soft. Wow. Not very tender. I'm going to put it inside my mouth, right? Mm. Falls apart. And the sauce itself, very, very simple. Really um, allows you to, you know, focus on that amazing consistency and texture of the beef chick. They also serve it with like seared vegetables, you have grilled onion, asparagus, carrots, as well as this very cute roast potato. <laughs> I'm just wondering where the rest of the potato go. <laughs> okay, so actually right, the wine that they are serving as well, this is a Pinot Noir. Uh, they actually mentioned that um, this goes very well with more tender cuts of uh, red meat. So for the beef chick, perfect. Very, very nice uh, pairing. Would you like to do all Try. Sure. <laughs> I, I don't know what I'm looking out for, but sure. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. Yeah. It's still a wine. Right? Yes. It's good. Now we're going to try the filet mignon. Okay. It's quite interesting, eh, their cooking method. Okay. I've never heard of it before. Like, they will sear it first, mm. and then they put it in a Josper oven. So it's like a 100% charcoal oven. So you get that, like, the more woody, the more smoky flavours. And it looks like a very even way of cooking mm. as well. So actually, the filet mignon is part of the tenderloin. It's one of the more tender cuts of beef as well. And uh, it's actually quite premium because of the size. La. This is actually the end of the tenderloin. So here, the filet mignon is served with foie gras on top of in terms of like the tenderness and all that, all of that is there. But what I'm really impressed by is the sear. And I actually think that that boils down to like the way they prepared it with the double sear. Mm. Very, very tender consistency and doneness throughout also. So, very impressed. Compared to the T-bone, this is actually more tender, right? So like filet mignons are generally supposed to be towards the lower end of the tenderloin. Mm. Less use also that part of the muscle. So it's mm. supposed to be smaller and also more tender. Wow, okay. this is damn chill. Trying the boy grass. Oh, it's very light. Usually it's very intense and mm. a bit pungent. I feel like the focus is more on like the texture and how creamy it is. Mm. Okay, so last but not least, we have the Wagyu entrecote with frites. Basically, this is a very traditional French dish. Today, we are trying a sirloin steak. And of course, on top of the steak, they are serving it with the Café de Terry sauce. So this is a traditional green sauce with coriander, mint and pine nuts. On the side, we have the red wine jus. The bene sauce and the mushroom sauce. Wow, they rendered the fat down and it's so soft, so flavorful. Perfectly rendered. Because some places, mm. right, the fat isn't done properly, then it just becomes chewy. Yeah. That Cafe de Paris sauce, it tastes a lot like pesto, I think because of the pine nuts. So mm. very, very refreshing also. Mask a bit of that meaty taste from the fat also. Okay, let's try it with the variety of sauces. Yeah. So to me, like actually a good steak, right, if it's done well or if it's a good cut of uh, beef, right, you don't really need any sauce with mm. it. Honestly, I actually prefer it without the red wine sauce. I think it's quite nice, but it tastes good on its own. 
what it does is for me it masks the beef flavor. Yeah, which I actually enjoy. So I rather like eat it on its own. Again, I know I said this a lot of times, but the steak on its own with the Cafe de Paris sauce, good enough. I am very impressed with the grade of beef that this serves you. And of course, last but not least, let's try the truffle fries as well because apparently uh, this is one of their signature. Super generous with the truffle oil. Very, very crispy. ASMR truffle fries. It sounds as if you're eating chips. Okay, so personally for me, right, we've tried three different beef dishes. My favourite, right, definitely the Wagyu entrecote. Quality of the beef, Wagyu grade, fatty throughout with the Cafe de Paris sauce on top. Fat gives you a lot of flavour, but if you don't want to, then definitely tenderloin would be yeah. more suited for you. If you like that fibrous texture in, mm. your, in beef, right, then of course go for like the tenderloin, the filet mignon. Sherwin Sim, I'm the executive chef for Loris the Prime Rib Singapore. We only serve the finest beef and we have been around for 19 years. I'll be serving you all from the appetizer, it will be our signature crab cakes, our lobster tail, and our most signature Loris the Prime Rib. We have different cuts in different sizes and we only use uh, Angus beef. We roast it for 4 hours and we rest for 1 hour before we even bring it out to serve to all our customer by table side. It's our signature. It has been around for the last 80 years. The roasting part, that's the whole signature of this cut using the rib eye bone in. The cut is so called OP rib. Lah. It's the seven bones from the whole rib. The best roast beef in town. I would not say there's another restaurant is serving a better roast beef than us. Okay, so first up, we are here at Lowry's The Prime Rib. As the name suggests, they specialise in prime rib. Been open for business for 19 years. Very popular among uh, Singaporeans. The thing about Lowry's is that they have very interesting dining experience when you eat here. Yeah, so like compared to your normal steakhouses, right? Mm. So the steaks that they serve is... The whole prime rib is like one whole section. Like the this part of the whole cow. This part. So how they prepare it, right? Basically, they will age and slow roast as compared to like grilling or char grilling that a lot of steakhouses do. They bring the entire prime rib to your table side then they carve for you on the spot. Nice. Very interesting. We're going to be trying some of their other signature dishes as well together with the prime rib. Let's start. Whoa. This is the Yorkshire pudding. It's a traditional English bread that goes with very well with the sauce or all true Yes. Wine in the afternoon. Best job ever. Okay, so first up, we are going to be starting with an appetizer. They recommended the traditional lump crab cake. It's served with tartar sauce. Okay, first impression, right? It's very like, like full. Like packed very densely. Yeah, it's packed it? very densely. So you feel like, it feels really like, oh, inside Confirm got a lot of crab meat. And I am right. Dip in tartar sauce. Mm. It's perfectly seasoned. Eh? Like, mm. not too salty, very lightly seasoned. The crab meat on its own is already very flavorful. So you don't really have to season it much. Texture-wise, it's like fried perfectly as well. Not overly greasy or oily. Very light, even though it's like a fried dish. It retains the shape pretty well. It doesn't fall apart. The crab chunks are solid. Okay, so moving on to the mains, we have the Atlantic Lobster Duo. Mm. Because we are a duo. And they also serve it with bell pepper mayo and melted butter. Very excited for this because it's been like staring me in the face for like the past five minutes. The entire tail is already removed. So all you gotta do is just make a small incision here and you can remove the entire tip. Nice. We're gonna try with the bell pepper, bell pepper mayo. mayo first. Mm. Wow. This is quite high level. Mm. Okay, so the lobster itself, right? Ridiculously fresh. Mm. You know how you can tell when like shellfish, like prawns, crayfish, lobster, it's not as fresh because it's a bit like sticky, yum yum. Oh. Perfectly bouncy, right? Yeah, very tender, very succulent, like still very like juicy as well. It's very lightly seasoned also, mm. right? which really lets like the flavour of the lobster come through. Who would have known? Melted butter, mm. just like that. Really enhances the entire flavour of the lobster tail. Now the time we've all been waiting for. Time to change knives, Nick. So this is the Lowry Signature Prime Rib. 285 grams of meat served with mash, served with our juice, which is beef sauce, and Yorkshire pudding to help you wipe up every single last drop of sauce. Oh wow. Didn't expect it to like go through so easily. Okay, so they actually have a few different condiments for us to try uh, the prime rib with as well. Mm -hmm. Two different kinds of horseradish, 
plain grated horseradish, which is spicy. Mm. They also have a whipped cream horseradish. First up, any good steak, you must eat it on its own first. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna try it without anything on. You get full beef flavor, not gamey at all. Very, very lightly seasoned, probably just like salt and pepper. Now, okay, now we're gonna try it with the plain grated horseradish. So this is the one that is a bit spicier. <laughs> the staff laughing, cause like, I think I put too much. They describe it as something like wasabi. My nose is a bit pain now. <laughs> Actually, it complements the beef very well. So now I'm going to try with the whipped cream horseradish. It's not spicy. as spicy. Mm. Uh, so I think for most people, this one will suit their palate. So more. can take more. Okay, to be very honest, right, I actually prefer the plain grated horseradish because the flavour is a lot more full. They also recommended that you try and mix the two. And of course, even though it is in the middle of the afternoon now, when you have prime rib, you need to have wine as well. This is the Lowry's private label, so it's their own wine. You can only get this in like Lowry's restaurants around the world. It is non-vintage as well, which means it doesn't age, the flavour doesn't change. If you drink it now and you drink it two years later, same taste, consistency at its finest. Oh, it's very, very easy to drink. Yeah. It's not too dry. Okay, the next thing that I'm very interested to try, right, before we forget, and of mm. course we cannot forget, they serve the prime rib with Yorkshire pudding as well. Mm. One full pan like this. Yeah. Okay, so the recommended way of eating this, like your pizza style or your prata style. Ah, dip, prata style. Dip in the curry. Use hand. Cheers. Cheers. Mwah. <laughs> the texture of the Yorkshire itself is quite it's light, very fluffy, light, bouncy. Quite an interesting experience, like learning about the different this cut of meat that I've never tried before. Like. Oh, you never tried before? I've never tried before. Wow. Fantastic, your first prime rib experience. Is at Lowry's. <laughs> how fortunate and blessed you are. <laughs> and of course, aside from the prime rib as well, that is definitely the star of the show here. They also have some very, very good mains and appetizers to worth trying as well. The seafood, I was surprised because coming to like a prime rib restaurant, right? Mm. You don't come here and then think like, wow, I'm going to have like the best seafood ever. But this really holds its own on the menu. So actually, Gerald, what was your favourite cut of beef from today? For me, it would have been the sirloin. Eh? I mean, you oh. get like your perfect balance of like fat right. and meat. So yeah. like, just a very well-rounded beef experience. Like a very classical, traditional steak. Yes. Yeah, very easy to eat as well. Mm. I think for me, right, it definitely was the prime rib because that whole experience of having the entire chunk of prime rib being Ooh. carved by your table, right? Yes. Wow, very interesting. You really feel like this is a proper beef experience. <laughs> But you know what, no matter what your favourite cut of beef is, if you are a beef lover, you can actually get great discounts on the restaurants that we tried today with the Maybank card. Yeah, you can get 15% off at La Brasserie and 20% mm. off at uh, Lowry's The Prime Rib. Pretty sweet deal. So thanks for watching this episode of Ebook Vlogs. If you like this video, don't forget to watch our other videos over there. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye!